I really love Jerry Seinfeld. So I love the show Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. And it really shows how much of a fan he is of comedy. And so I had a terrible show once at the Stress Factory in New Jersey. And it really affected the comedy club, which is unfortunate because it's owned by a comic. I really respect comedians who go into the comedy club business because that's really a hard business to be in. And so you want to protect them and it's a local club. And so I went back with Jerry Seinfeld to kind of discuss the experience with the same audience members and kind of have a therapy session about it. And, and Jerry was sort of our therapist. It was really incredible. And then I performed and he, he performed, he opened for me this time and I performed and it was so exciting. And the audience was so, nobody ever asked the audience how they feel. It's like, we usually kind of know as comedians, but we don't actually go in and break it down. And so they loved it. I loved it. It was great for the club. It was a great sort of moment for us to kind of revisit nights. Sometimes you have bad nights as a comedian and you're like, why did that happen? And what happened? And what is that about? And what does it say about me? What does it say about the audience? And I, I really am glad that we got to do that. Mm, me too. I mean, it was, um, it was cathartic for everyone. I think. Yeah. We had a great time. <laughs> um, you know, and, uh, you know, again, I remember, again, I remember, I just watched that again recently and I forgot that you, you did the bit that you've done in your show before about um, your sexual abuse and had him rolling on the floor with the joke about your mother saying, oh yeah, we know, like he, he got your aunt before you or whatever. Like, yeah, you, you're not special. It's like a very, um, I mean, it's a very pointed way to make a joke about sexual abuse. I mean, because it's like it's one of those things where you can't joke about that. But there is a way to talk about things that is the unexpected thought. And that I, th I think is the comedian's art. The true comedian's art is to find out what is funny about something terrible. I think there was another situation with, was it the, um, the Virginia Tech shooting? Bobby yeah. Lee uh, said after the Virginia Tech shooting that his father said, wow, 32 people, wow. I mean, one or two is okay. That's like... <laughs> It's like, what, how, but it's, it's really like this way of, um, humanizing a terrifying inhumane act, which I think is like, let's all get back to the humanity, which I think is really an important job for comedians. Yeah, absolutely. And it just pierces that without, you don't know why you respond with laughter sometimes, but it, it's healing. It's healing because the inappropriateness of it makes it so appropriate. 